Welcome to Learning Made Easy. Today I'm in Windows 8 and I'm looking at Narrator. I want to see how good it really is. Great for proofreading back your work in word processors such as Windows 2013, 2010 and previous versions. So first thing we need to do is activate it. Now we can do this in a couple of ways. The first way is to use the shortcut key which is the Windows key bottom left and the Enter key. That is a shortcut key to start it. But you can also start it by going bottom left do a right click to bring up that mini menu select control panel and we can access it ease of access center or you can also access it through speech recognition which I'll show you quick there you go text to speech so we'll open up ease of access center and show that you can also access it through start narrator there but I'm going to close them and I'm going to start with the shortcut key which I told you earlier was Windows and enter key. Starting narrator. Narrator is now started and you know it started because she says it started plus at the bottom here this is narrator settings and that will show when it's on. So if I left click that to bring up the settings. Narrator settings window. Press any key. We can now change the settings. Now I recommend to go voice first because you need to choose a voice you're happy with so left click voice. on that. And I've chose Hazel but if I click the drop down menu Selected. you have a couple of other voices there you could use as well. Sel also you can choose the pitch also if you want it louder I'll make it a little bit louder as so also you can choose the speed I'm going to Voice. slow down the speed a little bit there and click save changes Press any. also if you click commands Come this will give you the commands you can use shortcut keys when you're using narrator as well really useful there is a shortcut key for that as well if you hold the caps lock button down and press the F1 button which is the function key that will bring up all your commands as well easy to access Okay, so I'm going to click Save Changes. Press so I've made none there. And I'm going to just minimise that. I don't want to close it because I don't want to close Narrator. I just want to minimise it. So what I need to do is open up a Word document to test it out. So I'm Select. going to open this test one here. Now, if she keeps talking and driving you up the wall, just click the Control button, bottom left, and that will test show Word up straight window. away. Right, let's have a little go. So you can see by that blue rectangle that indicates that Narrator is working and ready to go. So I need to start reading. Now we need another shortcut key here and the shortcut key to start reading is caps lock and M key. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. When you click online video, you can paste in the M and click control to stop. And it's as easy as that to do. Now if I actually go to the bottom and close narrator, so if I open narrator it Narrator settings window and click exiting exit. narrator and then it's gone it won't work so remember the shortcut key which is the windows key and enter test that starts narrator. Window. test editing and to start reading we hold the caps lock button down and click the M button video on the keyboard. provides a powerful way to help you prove your point when you click on and click control to stop it again also remember what I showed you earlier as well by using the cap locks key and if you press F1 the function key search brings up your Stop. commands. Really useful because at the bottom here you can choose where you want to Selected. navigation commands or Select. text and table. So you can choose specifically what category you want. Sir. Test. Ed. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Learning made easy.